welcome to Makan lessons. It's very simple. We're just going to ask you to repeat every phrase after we do it. So first I sing the phrase and then you repeat along with Megumi and Maranisa. So, when we are learning Makam, when we're performing Makam, we want to start by getting into our bodies. So, wherever you are right now, let's take a few deep breaths. Feel your legs and the weight in your legs. Become aware of different parts of your body. What does the top of your head feel like? The middle of your back. If you're sitting down, do you feel your legs on the seat? If you're standing up, can you feel the weight of your feet and the the, the bottoms of your feet. And as you breathe, feel your stomach expanding in and out.
Now let's take a moment and make whatever sound you feel like. And we're going to make crazy sounds and shake our bodies. Let's put our violins down. some energy, settle back into the breath. And let's make some laughter. <laughs> and as you laugh, feel your diaphragm move. Put your hand on your diaphragm and, and feel it come in and out. So when we laugh, we want to feel our diaphragm moving. And get used to making the sound from there, from your diaphragm, from your lower body. Let's try to make a pitch in the same way. Check in with your body and your breath. And one more note. If you are an instrumentalist, it's very important that you do these videos singing first. Once you get the feeling of the makam in your body and your voice, it will be easier to figure it out on your instrument. One more deep breath.
any of those phrases were too hard for you the first time around? I want you to concentrate on making sure you get the beginning of the phrase and the end of the phrase. It's not important to get every detail. But it's important to get the basic rhythm of the melody. And it's through repetition of these phrases that you will learn them. These melodic phrases that we're learning together, these are the basic melodic vocabulary of Makam. I'm improvising right now as I teach. And the melodies that we're learning are the basic melodies of improvisation. By now in the video, you should already start to recognize some of these melodies. These are like the words of a language. And you're learning as a baby would learn language. By simply copying and repeating. From these basic words of the vocabulary, we can build longer sentences. So, for example, if I were to sing something like this, that longer melody was made up of smaller sections that you already learned. So when you learn from actual music, you can also learn in this way. Take a longer melody, and if you can't copy the whole thing, you will copy as much as you can copy at a time. Those will be the little phrases. So now we've done everything that's really important in a, in a sense. The melodies are the music. Learning the melodies is learning the music. But a lot of people like to have some explanation of what it is that we're doing. So before we explain, I need to explain uh, who's with me. This is my daughter, Maranisa. Some of you may have seen her in previous Mokan videos. And she loves to sing. And this is my student, Megumi Saruhashi. 
えっと私はえっとサミの生徒のサラハイスメンデミです。We've been working together for over a year and she's studying with me thanks to a, a grant from New York State Council on the Arts. So, for some explanation of what's happening. First, we want to find a note we call the tonic. The tonic is where we feel the melody resolves. So if we sing. You should feel that it wants to move. And if I end a phrase on this note, We feel it wants to resolve. So this note is our tonic. The note that we resolve melodies to. So let's call this note one. Sometimes people like to use do re mi to explain melodies. In India they say sa re ga ma pa da ni sa. I think it's easier just to use the numbers. Because then we always know where we are. So let's start singing with numbers. One, two, one. One, two, one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, four, three. The tonic repeats on the octave. Eight is the same as one. And the note underneath eight is seven. Four, three, four, four, three, 
two, four, three, two, three, two, one. So, what we are doing in this lesson is called Jins Jiharka. Jins is a word that in Arabic refers to part of a maqam. It originally came from the ancient Greek word genus. And it referred to a collection of four or five notes. You notice I didn't go all the way up the scale except to demonstrate a scale. When we use a makam, we will move from one jins to another. We have three ways of defining the jins. The first way is the melodic vocabulary of the jins. And this is what we've spent most of the lesson on so far. The second way is through the notes and the relationships between them. This is often where most people start. So we, we counted up the notes. And we can notice what are the intervals. The intervals are the distances between notes. So if I sing one, two, three, one, two, three, or I sing one, two, three, one, two, three. The second example is Jins Nahawan. And in Nahawan, you can hear that the distance between two and three is smaller. Nahawand, one, two, three, one, two, three, Jiharka, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, two, three. That is a bigger interval. Then two, three, two, three, so Jiharka has a big interval between one and two, one, two, one, two, a big but not as big interval between two and three. A very small interval between three and four. Three, four, three, four, and a 
large interval between four and five. Four, five. And underneath the tonic. We have a medium interval. So we can define Jins Jiharka by these intervals. Now I'm intentionally not telling you the note names right now. Because I want you to think with your ears and your feelings before you think with your intellect. So let's again sing with this awareness of intervals. Right now we're performing Jiharka on D. Or Re. We have D, E. You guys can sing with me. E, F sharp. But it's a low F sharp. F sharp is a little bit the third scale degree is lower than a major third. D, F sharp, D, F sharp, and then a really low G. We could almost call it G half flat or something. The third way that we can understand Jins is through mood. So I want you to notice your mood. What are you feeling at this moment? Take another deep breath. Bring yourself back to your body. And think about what mood you hear when I play. Feel the mood 
と今えっとこのムードのの違いをえっと感じてみてください。Change back and forth between those two. How about you? Yes, I did. It's a 感覚の違いがわかりましたか How would you describe the mood of one or the other of Nahawand compared to Jihaka? Um, Nahawand, I felt like really sad,、mm. and Jihaka, it's、um, like bring up the sweet memories.、Mm. Did you have any feelings with each of them? Mm. You don't have to have an answer.、I、so,、really、if you don't have an answer, think for yourself what you feel about it. There's no right or wrong answer. But what you want to notice is the difference between the moods. And these three ways of understanding the Ajnas the intervals, the melodic vocabulary, and the mood they're like the characteristics of a person. So, if you're seeing Mugumi for the first time, you notice she wears a braid and glasses,、uh, and you're noticing her characteristics. But if you know Mugumi for a long time, you'll be like, oh, that's Mugumi, no matter what dress she wears. Same thing with Marinese. Whenever you know someone, you know them without thinking about their characteristics. That's how Arabic music listeners hear a j i n s I didn't give you time to translate. See if you can translate that. Um, so, I'm going to talk about the difference between the two. I'm going to talk about the difference between the two. I'm going to talk about the difference between the two. I'm going to talk about the difference between the two. I'm going to talk about the difference between the two. I'm going to talk about the d i f f e 例えばメガネをかけてて、えー、と見た目をしててピンクの服を着ているっていうふうにちょっと特徴を捉えると思うんですがもし私のことをよく知っていたら違う服を着ていてもきっと気づくと思いますそういうふうにあのジーンスの特徴を,を,ににとあのを,を学んでください。And you get that sense of familiarity through repetition and time. えっとこのようなえっと親しみみたいなものはえっと繰り返しすることでえっと身につけます。So take your time and repeat every j i n s えっと時間をかけて一個一個のジンスをえっと繰り返してみてください。Then when you hear makam, you will hear the drama of the changes. でそうそうするとマカムを聞いたときにそのジンスが変わるときのドラマというのを感じることができます。So now we're going to practice some small changes. We're not really doing all of Makam Jiharka. That will be for a later video. But Jins Jiharka is actually very rare. Jins Jiharka is actually very rare. And it tends to come in the context of other makams. So we're going to play between Jins Jiharka and a few other Ajnas. Yeah, 
It will be for the next lesson. So you can go back and, and check that one out. I call it Ajam Murasa. It has a raised fourth scale degree. One, two, three, four, five.
common variations you'll hear when you're in jihaka. Actually, I forgot one. This one is called Sika Baladi. And all of these other Ejnas that we are doing, we will have separate lessons for. But here's Sika Baladi. Most of the time, when you hear Jiharka, it will be a song in Makam Rast. And then you modulate to Jiharka. They're very close. In rust, the third is slightly lower. One, two, three. In jiharka, it's a little bit higher. So the, the Jiharka third scale degree is is in between rust and major. So you could say maybe it's um, seven eighths of a tone. <laughs>
People think this is hard. But it's actually really easy. You just have to copy. Let's hear the transition from Rust and Jiharuka one more time. It's important to get to know a lot of repertory in each makam. In each makam and each jins. So I have a playlist of songs on YouTube in makam jiharuka. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, but also, if you just search my channel for Makam Jiharka, you'll see some of these songs. I'm going to play for you the parts that are actually in Jins Jiharka. Let's start with um, probably the most popular, um, well-known song in Jiharka. This is a Syrian song called Ar-Rozana. So I'll, I'll sing it for you. You can hear one, two, three. Try to, when you listen, identify the tonic. Try to copy the melody and listen to. I, I put a recording of Sabah on the playlist. Uh, before I give you other examples, I should say one more thing. Uh, 
I make these lessons available for free on YouTube. I make them free because I want them to be available to anybody no matter what they can afford. But if you can afford to support this project, I'd be very grateful for you to follow me on Patreon. The link to Patreon is also down below in the description. You can support for a few dollars a month. And if you support me、um, at a medium level, you will also get access to some free lessons. For example, we are now going to, after we're done with this lesson, we're going to record、um, Jins Jiharka in different keys. So, if you're、uh, an instrumentalist or singer who's serious about Arabic music and you want to practice in different keys, then it's a good reason to follow the Patreon lessons. And I'm, of course, very grateful to everyone who has been supporting me on Patreon so far. We just got a few new supporters, subscribers this week, so thank you. And if you've made it this far, also be sure to like and subscribe,、uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. So we're going to do a few more examples. The next example is probably one of the most common places you will encounter Jins Jihaka. And it's a famous song in Maham Rast. Of rust, rust, Yemen is sham, we all are Yemen, Tall in the Tall, Yahil, we tell you, Yemen is sham, all a belly, how it Ahlaz a man of day to mark, Ahlaz a man of day to mark. Then it modulates to Jihaka. Tali Matal, Tali Utawal, Labit Layer, Walabit Hawal, Tali Matal, Tali Utawal, Labit Layer, Walabit Hawal, Jiharka, Jiharka, Jiharka. Jiharka, Jiharka, Mushta Elik Yenorayuni, Mushta Elik Yenorayuni. That is a modulation away from Jiharka into Saba Dalanshin. Jiharka, 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 Sabadal and Sheen. Jiharka, Sabadal. Let's repeat that. 
sing along. Great. So that was from Yamad Hashem. Another final Syrian example. This is a Moshat. Uh, not a lot of people know this, but you will hear it from Sabah Fakri and others. It's called Anta Sultan Ul Milah. Anta Sultan Ul Milah, which means um, you are the the king of the the good ones. Anta Sultan Ul Milah Anta Malak Anta Sultan Ul Milah Hayaini Ya Malik Anta Malak Jaddabi Da'ala Wa Awal Jamal Ya Mahatak Jaddabi Da'ala Wa Jihadka. Another beautiful example, and those are all Syrian examples that I've given. This one is uh, from Egypt. This is Muhammad Abdul Wahab. Um, he has a, a beautiful song, Kulli Da Ken Le. Everything was because for what reason? <laughs> okay, I'll translate it later. <laughs> uh, um, this song is in Makam Bayati. And in Bayati, he comes up to the fourth scale degree. And on Mukam Bayati, if you follow the Bayati lesson, you will hear that Bayati on its fourth scale degree has Nahawand or Rust. Bayati. Second verse. I you you made me uh, forget to sleep at night. And he does a phrase in Rust, so this is about 23 minutes in. If you listen to the recording. He sings from Rust to Jiharka.
نساني أنا من ليل خلاني أبات أنا جي نساني He has more improvisation in Jiharka. After the Jiharka, he moves to Sikabalari. أبات أنا جي خلاني أبات أنا جي That's sick ability. جهاركا جهاركا يا ليل So those are some examples. You'll find them on the playlist. Now, all you have to do is repeat all of these phrases. And the more that you listen to the songs and listen to improvisations, the more you will absorb the vocabulary. Always treat it like a language that takes time to settle. I want to once more thank Megumi Saruhashi. Thank you. <laughs> Not only for being a wonderful student, but also for translating. Thank you. And thank my daughter, Marinisa. Who loves to sing and likes being on YouTube. <laughs> Let's sing some final phrases to end the video. Remember to like and subscribe. And follow me on Patreon. Take a deep breath again.
everybody. Great job. Thank you.